in an inpatient unit, how would you navigate the engagement of sex workers? <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose there's a policy answer to this one. Uh, I would assume most hospitals would say no sex workers are allowed. Um, I'm assuming, I have not looked. Uh, but in states where that's legal, are there states where that's legal? Yeah, Nevada. Um, so you might be bumping up to the limits of policy and legalities here. Um, so I don't know the answer. But I do know that if there's good relationships between staff and patient and families, most staff, especially the nurses, really want good things to happen for their patients. You know, they'll want to help make things happen. It used to be sometimes it took the form like back when I was in the hospital, sneaking a you know, beloved dog or cat into the room. There are moments like that where there's sort of a gleeful bending of the rules, situation dependent, et cetera. So um, I would start with just broaching it, I suppose, with the nurse saying, hey, can I talk to you about something? I don't want to be reported, but I just want to feel something out here. Is this even possible? Can, uh, you know, whatever it is. Just noting that oftentimes there's a willingness to sort of fly under the radar and bend the rules if the relationship is in place and everyone knows what each other's up to and has best intentions, et cetera. So we're back to the the relationship dynamic in that facility. And that's where so much of this stuff would flow. So another reason to find a, find a way to having a good relationship with your nurse in particular.